Sideshows have always been home to physically unusual humans, such as those that were extremely tall or short. But today we're not talking height, we're talking weight. And while there's no shortage of fat men in America, over the past few decades, only one has called himself a professional. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're exploring the gluttony of the last sideshow fat man, aka Harold Huge. <laughs> Bruce Snowden was born on the 19th of February 1946 in Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts. He came from a large family, and by large, I don't mean he had lots of brothers and sisters. His father was a big, burly chap whose weight used to bounce up and down from 250 pounds to 350 pounds and back again. From a young age, Snowden saw firsthand how unpleasant diets could be. When his father was dieting, life in the family was hell. You see, his father was one of those people that if he was miserable, he wanted everybody else to be miserable too. Maybe that's why at 19 years old, Snowden weighed nearly 250 pounds and by age 23, 350 pounds. He was a well-educated man who had degrees in paleontology, anthropology and chemistry. Over the years, he took several jobs in those sectors, but found them unrewarding and boring. Instead, Snowden was actively working on becoming professionally fat. Whether it was to fill the void of boredom or just plain gluttony, every now and again, he'd fill a mayonnaise jar with a five pound bag of sugar, add water to it to make a sugar solution and drink it down. He had piled on a lot of weight and by the time he was 25, he was a bloated behemoth tipping the scales at a whopping 450 pounds. As an avid reader, he would spend time exploring the dusty shelves of the library. It was here that he came across an old circus book. Its pictures depicted sideshow stars of the past. As he flicked through the book, he saw a photo of a banner from a fat man. The banner boasted 350 pounds. Snowden, being 100 pounds or so heavier than that, decided there and then on a career change. He contacted Ward Hall, who ran the World of Wonders, and the rest, as they say, is history. There's one small part of it, and that's the price of admission, which is only $2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the very last performances of the last American Sideshow. So don't miss seeing the big show. Let's go now, step right up and pay it a visit. It's showtime at the World of Wonders. Come right in, it's showtime, and thank you, sir. Hurry right along. Everybody goes now to see the big show, thank you. It's one you won't want to miss, and one you'll remember for the rest of your life. Hurry along, this is the last call for this performance. Ward also gave him his first stage name, Harold Huge although he also performed under the moniker Howard Huge and Big Bruno. His act included him telling stories of his life, answering questions, and of course, listing his gigantic meals. He would say, I eat 50,000 calories worth of food per sitting, and boasted eating things like 25 chickens, a barrel of beer, 30 pancakes, two dozen eggs, and 16 pounds of bacon in one sitting. This impressive, albeit totally fabricated diet, captured the audience's imagination. Once he hit the sideshow circuit, his waistline expanded at around the same pace as his fan base, steadily increasing show by show, week by week. At his heaviest, he weighed 607 pounds. But of course, in true sideshow fashion, his colorful banners build him as weighing 712 pounds. In his downtime, in between shows, he would sit in his comfy chair watching the world go by, reading book after book. As a fat man in the sideshow, the world can be a lonely place and reading always remained Snowden's escape. On the lot, in order to stay clean, Snowden would strip down completely naked behind the sideshow tent and other carnival workers would hose him down. His belly hung so low that it covered his genitals, 
So Snowden would simply rotate while being hosed off with water to make sure he was clean. Then, seeing as he didn't have a towel big enough to dry himself with, he would again simply rotate until the summer heat dried him off. One day, after being hosed down, a small group of ladies from the local church decided to have a sneaky look around the sideshow before it opened to the public. Of course, they peeked their head through the door of the tent and to their horror, they got an eye full of Snowden, all 600 naked pounds of him, slowly rotating in the summer heat. As you can imagine, this caused quite a shock to the old ladies and the incident was swiftly reported to the police. However, as the pitch had already been hired and Snowden was inside the tent, it meant the ladies were effectively trespassing and the authorities quickly dismissed the case. He spent much of his time with fellow sideshow performers, such as Melvin Burkhart, known affectionately as the Human Blockhead, and was considered a close member of the group. In his off-season, Snowden made firecrackers while sitting in his living room watching TV. As with all fireworks, especially homemade ones, they were a little temperamental and he narrowly dodged quite severe burns on a number of occasions. He said he made an additional $1,000 a month by doing this throughout the winter. Aside from making fireworks, he had an eventful season in 2002 when he spent time filming with Tim Burton for his 2003 release, Big Fish. He played himself, acting alongside Ewan McGregor, Danny DeVito, Steve Buscemi and Matthew McGorry. After this, he retired from show business altogether, opting to stay at home and breed chickens. Quite naturally, the chickens had two heads. You can take the fat man out of the sideshow, but you sure can't take the sideshow out of the fat man. On the 9th of November 2009, Harold Hughes's gluttonous lifestyle came to an end, and he passed away in St. Petersburg, Florida, aged 64. So, why was he the last sideshow fat man? Well, in addition to the general demise of the sideshow, there has also been a normalization of obesity, and the fat man eventually became fat men. That's not to say we stopped gawping at fat people, there's just been a change in venue. Instead of going to the sideshow, we sit in the comfort of our homes and see unique medical oddities that are even stranger and odder than anything Barnum and Bailey could have produced. This decline marks the end of a long, heavy tradition dating back centuries. And there we have it, the gluttony of the last sideshow fat man, Harold Huge. In his lifetime, Harold ate some unusual meals. How about you? What's your favorite food? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week. And remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marbles, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.